Oh boy, today, well not today, uh, a few days after the fact, is a very good day. Now for those of you following the news on the Konami saga, it seems our boy Hideo Kojima has left the company for good and has found himself a new home. Now of course I was going to actually talk about this because to me, again this is not just a childhood thing, but I think to a lot of gamers out there this is pretty big news. Now. For those of you who don't know or haven't watched the other Konami videos or don't know what's really going on with the situation, uh, Konami basically uh, blew a gasket in their brain and totally lost all brain cells and thought, you know what, instead of video games, we're going to make shitty slot machines and get away with it. And you know what? To an extent, they have, because now they are officially the Pachinko Company. And before we begin, let me actually point out that Konami actually lost money and basically made little money on Pachinkos if you look at their fiscal reports. But then again, you know, it's not like, you know, I'm a fucking analyst on this shit. Um, but anyways, moving on forward, uh, for those of you who basically have heard recently, Hideo Kojima announced that he is with our uh, lovely guys and gals over at Sony Computer Entertainment. Now, by doing this, first of all, let me say again, fuck Konami. Fuck you, Konami. Fuck everything about Konami. And you know what? I think after this news has come out, Konami is officially not relevant anymore because I mentioned uh, we should boycott Konami in that one video that I made uh, very recently, but you know what? <laughs> There's nothing to boycott. It's not like they make any big games anyways. Um, sure, uh, Konami says we're going to make more Metal Gears and we're going to make, uh, I guess, PES or whatever, and am I really interested in a Metal Gear without the series creator of the helm? Not really. No, actually I'm not. Um, I might try it if it turns out to be pretty decent, but then again, I'm not holding my breath for that game. Um, Hideo Kojima, though, has officially, I, I believe, parted ways with the company. He's not allowed to actually say what happened between him and Konami because of, you know, contractual obligations. But he has found a home at, you know, Sony Computer Entertainment where Kojima Productions is alive and ready to go. And he is working on a new exclusive game with Sony. Now, again, the downside to this is for our Xbox audience, it seems like you guys are going to miss out on Kojima's game because... Eh, it seems like it's going to be an exclusive at this point, which I'm actually fine with considering that, you know, I want to see what he does with the PlayStation platform tapped out because he made magic with Metal Gear Solid 4 on the Metal, on the uh, PlayStation 3, I almost said Metal System 3. <laughs> but yeah, PlayStation 3, I want to see what he pulls off with PlayStation 4. It ain't going to be Metal Gear, but it's going to be some new IP, and I'm interested to see where it goes because there's going to be a lot of new IPs coming out next year, actually. You know, we got Scalebound coming out. We have, um... We have Horizon, actually, from people over at Guerrilla Games, which I'm actually hyped for, and uh, whatever Kojima's coming up with, so I'm interested to see where this entire thing goes. But overall, this actually marks the end of the Konami saga, or as I want to dub it. Uh, Konami, you made a mistake, alright? And the one main asset that Konami had is now gone. And let me tell you how important of an asset Kojima was. This is a man who, after the whole shit with Konami came out, got multiple job offers from many different, you know, gaming studios. And of course he's going to get job offers. The guy is influential in gaming. He's like, you know, Shigeru Miyamoto level influential. So you have to expect that's going to happen. And for him to pick Sony is obvious because, you know, Kojima has been with Sony for the longest time. You know, he, this is his longest partnership. He hasn't had a partnership as fruitful with Nintendo or Microsoft, or any other large gaming, you know, uh, plays. I mean, he's respected, of course, you know, amongst all the gaming circle, um, but, you know, the, the biggest partnership he's had with is with PlayStation. You know, this is where the original Metal Gear Solid was debuted, and this is where, you know, Metal Gear has made a name for itself. You know, it's become synonymous with the PlayStation brand. Sure, you know, Metal Gear Solid Five, and, uh, you know, Metal Gear recently has been multi-platform, but it's always really been a PlayStation title or an MSX title. I'm not counting the NES versions because, let's be honest, Konami Ultra Games does not know how to fucking, you know, port properly or, you know, make a decent fucking game based off of its original source material, but that's a whole different story right there. And then if you want to see that, I have an hour-long video just focusing on Metal Gear as a whole. Now, why am I really, really, really key into this? Again, Kojima means a lot to me. You know, uh, a lot of people have their games that they've grown up with, you know, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, all that kind of stuff. But my one of the games that I grew up with was Metal Gear, the Metal Gear Solid specifically, and I still play that game religiously to this day. It's a brilliant experience, and if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you do try it. And for one of my most, you know, one, one of my most respected game developers to leave this hellhole of a company has been absolutely shining. It's been great. You know, Konami, 
you know, ever since the beginning, by the way, too, of his work at Konami, too, he was always dogged on as well. And that goes for anyone at Konami, by the way, too. If, you ha- if you've been recently looking at it, Konami actually has a lot of shitty reports coming out, just how the way they treat their uh, staff as well. In fact, in Japan, a lot of staff gets mistreated. But Konami, oh, fuck, if you look into what's going on over there, holy shit, there are so many workplace fucking violations. In fact, what happens is if you're not useful at Konami, what they do is they shove you off to this fucking, uh, this, this, this shit section where they, just ma- where they turn you into a janitor, basically. Even if you're highly qualified in game development, that's what they do. That's fucked up. That's fucking, that's distasteful. And this company does it and will continue to do it. And I think they'll do it even more with their stupid Pachinko route that they're going this time. But with Kojima leaving, I think one of the biggest things is Konami is not relevant anymore. Okay, Konami is gone. Okay, Konami, which was once a big pillar of gaming, by the way. I mean, everyone fucking loved Konami for the longest of times. And slowly but surely, they have officially shot themselves so far that they can never make a comeback to gaming. Their star assets are gone. The people that basically ran the gaming division are gone. All they have are the IPs. Sure, they might own Metal Gear. They might own Silent Hill. They might own a lot of games, but those games are not the same with Konami. I mean, with Silent Hill Pachinkos, Castlevania Erotic Pachinkos, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Metal Gear, you know, they got social ops here, and come on, let's be honest, Big Boss Pachinko's already been trademarked. So Pachinkos are going to be the main route, and that's where they're going to be aiming for. That is what, that is, that is what's going to happen at Konami at this point, and... Should we feel bad for it? No. They've laid their bed, and they've lost their star developer. And a lot of their star developers, they've lost everything, really, if you think about it. Um, I guess the only thing keeping them alive is Pro Evolution Soccer, and we'll see how far that goes compared to, you know, its competitor, FIFA, which, you know, with EA being the juggernaut behind it, I don't think you're going to dethrone that. (laughs) Sorry, that's a wishful fucking thinking at best. So, with Kojima leaving to Sony... What are we expected to see? Well, a new IP, and the man himself said he's going to make games until he dies, and I can wholeheartedly respect that. As a person who's passionate in his career path, it's good to see somebody else that's as passionate in their own respective career path. And I wish the best for Kojima, I wish the best for everyone on his team, the people working with him, the Konami Productions here in, the, in America, everywhere. I want to see where this company goes and what they make from now on. And personally, am I glad to see him leave Konami? Of course! Why the fuck would you stay at that? That's an abusive fucking relationship, dude. But he's officially out. And you know what? I want to see where it goes on from here. Maybe PT might make a comeback. Remember that game, boys and girls? Maybe you might see a horror game come out from Kojima and possibly Del Toro. Who knows where this path goes? Who knows? That That's just the whole thing. But what we do know is Konami is fucked. And I cannot be happier than a motherfucker to say that. Because fuck everything about Konami. Fuck this company. I think we have never gotten a bigger fuck you than them in the gaming world. You know, as much shit as I give Electronic Arts, Activision, anyone, at least they have a fuck to give about the gamers. You know, whether they may show it sometimes or they may not show it, at least they're not pachinko fucking ridden bastards. Konami? Well, they're in the gambling business now. And you know what? That's the biggest gamble to be in. They might survive, they might thrive, or they might flop. Who knows? But we certainly won't care. Because they have officially left the gaming industry, and we have left them. And Hideo Kojima is off to do bigger and better things. So I want to le- I want to ask you all what you think about this whole situation in the comments below. Of course, to me, it's a big, big deal. And I'm personally excited to see what happens in the future of gaming. It's kind of been shaky, but I'm glad to see that in the end, we did get a really good ending. You know, a partnership with Sony is absolutely brilliant. You know, this is, this is two mind... These are two people that know each other for a long time, and you're damn sure they're going to make a good game. In the end of the day, this is uh, me, Mudahar, and uh, this has been a little, you know, discussion on the whole Kojima joining up with Sony situation. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.